I have two Roselle bushes behind me. Roselle, also known as Rosella. Um, some people call it Jamaican sorrel, depending on where you're from. But it's looking like it's ready to get harvested. There are a bunch on here that are ready to go. I'm out here in Central Florida. I grew these from seeds several months ago. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what the harvest looks like and also talk about the health benefits of this really beautiful plant. Really quick, before I get into this video, I want to first apologize for the video quality. You're going to notice a little glare here and there, and that's because I'm shooting this on my phone and I have a cracked screen right now. So I have not been able to get that fixed, but thank you anyways for tolerating that and watching and sticking around. These are two bushes and they appear to be quite skinny, but that's because I have them tied up all around because Hurricane Ian blew them over. Now these plants thrive on neglect. They have gone through monsoons, they have gone through drought, and they've even gone through of course Hurricane Ian and they are still doing wonderful. All parts of this plant are edible and useful. I know that you can use these flowers you can use the leaves. The leaves can be, you know, dried up, ground up, used in teas, added to salads or smoothies. I've actually never grown this before. This is my first time growing them. I can't wait to get this harvested and try them out. You know that the pods are ready or the calyxes are ready when they're about an inch in diameter. What I'll do is I will snip them off with my kitchen shears right here at the base. Now you can pull this off, but I don't recommend doing that because wherever you see um, a pod like this, you'll also notice tiny little babies that are also forming. So I don't want to damage these. I want to give these the best shot at growing. And therefore I will go ahead and snip it off right here at the base. This is what we have so far. I'm gonna continue harvesting. Um, wanted to show you what this looks like. I probably will not harvest anything smaller than this. There are many on there that are still ripening up. This is probably as small as I will go. And what I'll do is I'll give them a good wash just to make sure that I don't bring in any little critters inside the house. If there are going to be any little bugs, they will be hiding inside. Among the many health benefits of this plant, it's antibacterial, it's an antidepressant, it has anti-cancer properties, it's an anti-inflammatory, it aids your digestion, it supports weight loss, it helps relieve menstrual cramps, it relieves coughs, colds, and fevers, it helps regulate your blood pressure, and it protects your liver. Now, you can de-seed this, so you can remove the inner seed pod, and I understand that you can use that seed pod um, as a pectin replacement. The main part would be this outer part here with this you can make um, jams syrups and like I said the leaves can be used in smoothies or in salads the flowers can also be used I think tonight I'll go ahead and make a tea with these I don't have quite enough to make a jam but I should have enough within the next month once the rest of these fully form and ripen. 
I'll go ahead and remove this now so that you can see how easy this is here. I'm just gonna start removing these leaves and I will go ahead and add this to a tea later. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you're not already subscribed, go ahead and do so so that you can catch more videos like this in the future.